Meantime, the National Assembly has promised to wade into the continued detention of the leader of the Islamic movement of Nigeria, Ibrahim el -Zikzaki. House leader al Hassan Dugua made the pledge while addressing members of the movement who staged a protest to the National Assembly. The leader of the protesting group alleged that the health of the leader has deteriorated and requires urgent medical attention. Abdullah Musa and other protesters are calling for his release. The result of the test is the doctors has this to say from their investigation that Sheikh Zezekis, there is uh, lead poison was found in his blood. And according to researchers, any adult whose uh, lead poison label go beyond 10 milligram per deciliter in his body, such a person's life is in a critical situation and he is need, in need of the, to remove that. And such person's life is in danger. Let the National Assembly call on this uh, president to allow Sheikh Zezeki to go urgently. If even from now to tomorrow morning, wait, wasting time, wasting in any hour, Sheikh Zezeki may lose his life. And, and it, will not, it will not provide good atmosphere to Nigerians. To, to Being the representative of the leadership of the National Assembly here, I will pass this message to my superiors. Of course, the Senate President, who is the chairman of the National Assembly, distinguished Senator Ahmed Lawan, and his own colleague, who is the vice chairman of this assembly, Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila. These are respected citizens of this country. These are people who have concern, and they have a lot of sensitivity to the plight of the common man across religious divide. 